Hi friends, it's Art with Andrea Burley today. Uh, today we are going to make a puffer fish. So, or an attacking fish, or I don't know what we should really call this guy. So we're gonna do the folds that we have done, that we like, we really like these in our house. Um, but instead of just a plain little cute little Nemo, ah, it's gonna eat either a tiny fish or if you don't want to put a tiny fish in there that's okay you can put a bug I don't know so anyway this is what we're gonna do um and then I thought like think about all the different kinds of fish that you like puffer fishes rainbow fishes striped zebra um polka dot nemo I mean you can make it what you want um so but we are going to do the fold and make our fish and put our fun teeth in it so let's get started. Okay, grab your piece of paper. We are going to fold for our puffer fish. So what you wanna do is take your paper long ways and you're gonna fold it down Fold it in half, crease it, just like that. And then you're gonna take your top flap and you're gonna fold it up so it meets your crease and then crease it down. So let's do that again, just so you know. You're gonna take your paper long ways. You're gonna hamburger fold it, fold it in half and then you're gonna pull your top flap up, fold it in half, meet in the middle, and then crease it. So from here, what you're gonna do is it's very important not to go past your crease. So we're still gonna give our fish a mouth. So what I suggest doing is just do your mouth so you know where to start. And then we're gonna do our round part of our fish over, 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 till it kind of meets to the crease. And then to do its fin, we're gonna come out and come down and just have it stop right on the line. And we're gonna do it on the bottom too. So you're gonna start at your mouth line and you're gonna come down, up, and then make your fin on the bottom. Just like that. So from here, you can make your eyeball. And what I do for fish is I do an oval, and then I have the black part of the eye facing its mouth direction. Just like that. So now when you open it, this is where we're gonna put its teeth. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna probably put, you're just gonna wanna bring your mouth line where you started and you're gonna bring it to the middle line. So it looks like a really wonky looking thing. And then you're gonna do it with the same on your bottom line. Just have it come up and meet the mouth in the middle. And then for your fin, you're gonna have you're gonna have your top fin meet your bottom fin. So you're gonna draw your straight line all the way down so it meets the bottom. And then from here we can draw our teeth. Now, on the one I did, I didn't have any teeth showing on my first picture, okay? I wanted it to be a surprise when I opened it. So, you're going to have to kind of keep track of where that line is on the bottom and put your teeth so your teeth are a surprise. So I'm just gonna draw my teeth like so. So then the top, you already have the crease there. 
So you can just, you already know where your mark is for your teeth. So there is our fun fish. And like I said, if you want to put a baby fish in here, you can, that it's going to eat and that it's going to grab. Um, what I would do to color, I like just different colors. So I'm going to make mine kind of like a rainbow looking fish. So I'm going to do stripes on my fish. But feel free to do whatever colors and designs that you want. There are so many cool fish in the world. So many cool fish. So you should do what other kinds of fish you want. I might just make a bronco fish because I like the broncos. So maybe I'll just make an orange and blue fish. But look how cool. I think it looks cool. I think fish are fun. So this is our project for today. I hope you guys have fun coloring and creating your fish what you want it to be. So here is our, you can see it's starting to take shape. So we will see you on Monday. We hope you guys have a great weekend.